Hi guys, it's Dave here at Humble Tracker Channel. How you doing out there? I hope you've had a chance to catch the season finale of Alone, season three. And am I the only one out there thinking there was something a bit bogus about it? Let's examine the evidence. Let's just cover the final episode just to get everybody up to speed. So what's happened, we're left with two final contestants, Carly and Fowler. Both of them are suffering, hunger, not eating well, weak. Neither of them appears to be stronger than the other. The series, the show, the episode is showing us cutting backwards and forwards between these doctor's visits, these medical checks, and the medical team are obviously worried that one or both of them, it's unclear by the way it's cut together, is in risk of leaving the show. Then we have an advertisement break commercial break we come back and we discover that Carly is being forced to leave the show for being malnourished she's got a body max body mass index of 16.8 and we're now taught by the show that they've put in a limit of 17 as being the limit below which they're gonna seriously consider if not definitely send home their contestants so Carly is forced to leave. The next day, day 87, they visit uh, Fowler with his wife and he's told he's won the show. For me, this was grossly unfair to Carly. How do we know that medically speaking, she was in a worse state than Fowler? They sent home Dave due to being malnourished and he was showing completely different symptoms of starvation. He was hoarding food, he was hoarding his fish stocks, he was stumbling, he was mumbling, he was virtually hallucinating. Carly was showing none of these symptoms. And in fact, Carly, compared to Fowler, neither of them seemed to be significantly healthier or better off than the other. To pull Carly from the show, and then the next day, that automatically gives Fowler the win, seems to me completely unfair. They should have split the prize between Fowler and Carly. There was no way that Carly should have been pulled from that show and half a million dollars, we're talking about half a million dollars, going to Fowler on what seemed to be a relatively arbitrary decision on the show's producers. BMI is not a definite um, measure, gives you 100% clear guidance on a person's ability to survive, how well they're doing. Yes, the body's breaking down, there could be permanent uh, damage done to the organs, and using BMI can be used as a way of judging that. But it's an extremely old technique, and it's by no means foolproof. To use that as your only measure to give for half a million dollars to another person, a poor that person, Carly, who's been struggling for 86 days, was just ridiculous. And why weren't we told Fowler's BMI? We weren't told Beth Fowler's BMI. This obviously leaves room for wonderment amongst the audience. Why weren't we told Fowler's BMI? How come it seems unclear if Carly was visited on day 86, a day before Fowler, and then obviously, because she's pulled, then that gives Fowler the win. If they'd visited Fowler before Carly, or if they hadn't visited Carly on that day, if they visited her two days afterwards, maybe she would have had a, caught a bunch of fish, had a good meal, and then she'd still be in it. It's very, very, unsatisfying to have it finished like this so that's all i'm going to say about the season finale of alone um i think it was a very unsatisfying unsatisfactory end to the program i thought it was very unfair to carly it's not a slight upon fowler he didn't make the decision he was awarded the win i'm pleased for him but i'm very unpleased and very upset for carly that she was pulled that seems to me in unfair circumstances what do you think about the whole situation alone? How the winner was decided? Was it fair? Was it unfair? Let me know down in the comment section. I look forward to reading it. If you like this type of comment, uh, content, commentary on survival programs, gear reviews, getting out in the great outdoors and looking at some survival hacks, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.
Thank you.